Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your full moon reading for August 18th. I'm Dedham Carr and you can reach me at dedhamcarr23 at gmail.com where I can give you a personal reading uh, via PayPal or I can um, give you uh, or you can donate to make these videos better via Patreon. Um, without further ado, let's get down to your reading for the full moon energy. I invoke the spirit of Jupiter, ruler of Sagittarius. Magnanimous giver of all things, aligned with Shiva. Huntsman, the huntsman, the Krishna, the archer. Loves the dried foods that hunters love, the celery, the dried fruits, raisins, dates. Represents places like Africa, but also Budapest, Stuttgart. Stuff the old England, your day. Now, some of the flowers associated are the tightly bunched ones, dandelions, or carnations. What do our philosopher Sagittarians need to know at this time? The spirit guides. The centaur. The centaur spirit. The hunter who is also part hunter. Let's see. And that is you. These are the influences that cross you. This is on your mind. This is your short term past. This is your long term past. These are your hopes, predictions for the future. These are your your base, how you are with others, how they are with you. And this is your environment here. This is your feelings of the situation and for your grand total, your final card. Peace, blessing, this. Okay. And what do we have for our hidden meaning? The Queen of Swords, a powerful woman. One of intellect, one of determination, self-invention. Let's see, Queen of Swords. Quick-witted, intensely perceptive, a subtle person, possibly a widow or a woman of sadness, mourning, privation, absence, long loneliness. Separation, one who has savored great happiness, but who presently knows the anxiety of misfortune and reversal. So, you may have been happy in the past by yourself. You may have felt that you could have made it alone. And now maybe you're changing your mind. Maybe you enjoy someone's company now. Um, but that doesn't mean you're not just as strong or as intellectual. On the other hand, if this is a woman in your life, she is a strong person who can act as a guide. She is somebody to listen to. Where are you at now? You are at the nine of coins. Congratulations, financial success and abundance. A time of nature. And your favorite place to be is nature. So I recommend grabbing that person who means the most to you and going someplace where it is natural and where you can just enjoy beauty together for a while. Um, just a lovely spot where you can be together. If you can't find someone who you remember who you need to be with right now, then go there and meditate upon that person who made such an impact on your life um, in the richness of nature. Nine of Coins means accomplishment, discernment, discretion, foresight, prudence, material well-being and a love of nature. 
You have made the right plans, you have made the right decisions, you have come through time and time again, and you will be richly rewarded for it. Now, what crosses you is the King of Coins, another abundance. Materially, you're doing quite well. The King of Coins is an experienced and successful leader, a person of character and intelligence, business acumen, mathematical ability, loyal friend, reliable marriage partner, wise investment, ability to acquire money and valuable possessions. This is someone who has recently given you their advice, who you have been smart to take it, and now you are reaping their benefits. Okay, what is in your head? Your head right now is the reverse of the Ten of Coins. So, um, this guy has family and money, and right now it's reversed. So you're feeling somewhat alone in a way, almost abandoned, and it's a time between monies. Um, the reverse is bad odds, possible loss, hazard, robbery, loss of inheritance, dissipation, and gambling. So you're taking a chance right now, but be aware that these concerns are in your head as worries. They are not necessarily founded on anything real. You're just feeling like you're in the hot seat right now, um, even though abundance is coming to you. Now, in your recent past, you've had the chariot. And the chariot is important because it is always speedy, speedy development of events. And in this case, the chariot, let me just read that for you real quick, is the, the horses wish to pull in different directions. The Russian knight who drives the chariot manages to go forward. The initials of the artist Y.S. are on the front of the chariot. Now, its meanings, in the past you had adversity, possibly already overcome, conflicting influences, turmoil, vengeance, success, possibly a voyage or a journey. You escaped somewhere, you moved, there was the rushing to a decision, you moved rapidly overnight. You need to pay attention to the details urgency to gain control of one's emotions. So you, all these things have come through for you, but you're hung up on uh, still thinking uh, in the same frame of mind as before all this stuff came through for you. You're still w preoccupied with the same worries because you uh, somehow have not moved on in your head. So in the long-term past, what have we had? We have had the reverse of the King of Coins. This is huge money losses or, excuse me, the reverse of the king of clubs, this is immobility, pardon me. Immobility um, has been a problem for you. Uh, you have not felt in the driver's seat for quite some time. The king of clubs reversed is severity, austerity, excessive and exaggerated ideas, dogmatic and deliberate. So perhaps you stuck with something a little too long in your uh, very far ago past, very long ago past, and it took you quite a bit of struggle to get over that and move through it with the chariot, but you've done so. It just hasn't quite caught up to you. So the best thing you can do right now is take a lot of walks, go outside, be in nature, commune with nature, and be around animals. Um, and in your wishes, hopes, dreams, fantasies, possible near, near future, is the Eight of Swords. And this is a woman who is bound to a stake with a bunch of swords around her. And she's feeling quite trapped. So if you can just take a moment, meditate, get into your own headspace, take showers, uh, you will feel, um, you can pass through this difficult time. Uh, this is a time of crisis, conflict, domination, imprisonment, turmoil, bad news, criticism, sickness, and calumny. So you're not feeling very good. You feel uh, boxed up, like you're waiting for uh, funds to come in, you're waiting for success to be granted. It can't come fast enough. Now, in the seventh place. This is your present position, and it is the Ace of Coin Clubs. Ace of Clubs is very good, because your present position means that you're making progress. This is your questioner. Your attitude within the circumstances, um, and it puts you in proper perspective. So, with the Ace of Clubs, 
Creation, beginning, invention, start of an undertaking, fortune, enterprise, gain, inheritance, the birth of a child, beginning of a meaningful experience, an adventure, or an escapade. So um, you are about to break out and there will be no more woes for you. You are starting something new, a new chapter in your life. You're turning over a new leaf and uh, you are upsetting the apple cart and things will be so much better from now on. Um, your environment speaks of the Six of Cups and these are two young people who are putting flowers into cups and this speaks of nostalgia, of childhood remembrance. You may even be going back to your childhood home at a time like this for a vacation or getting in touch with people you haven't seen in many years. Um, the Six of Cups speaks of memories, past influences, things that have vanished, childhood past, nostalgia, and faded images. Um, well, you know, it is, it is sad to have to move on, but on the other hand, you clung on to that same environment, to that role, um, ver a, great, a great deal, a great, very long time, possibly too long. However, this could also mean that you need to befriend the inner child, bring the inner child out into the environment right now. Um, just uh, incorporate some fun, some sense of fun into these new beginnings. This uh, um, huge new uh, business or new partnership. Now, uh, in your emotions right now, you have the reverse of the strength card. You're not feeling very confident right now. And this uh, also doubles up with uh, other emotional cards, such as the Eight of Swords, this, this feeling of, of despair. Um, however, I'm not seeing a reason why you should uh, necessarily be concerned too much about strength. The quality of gentle strength is symbolized by a woman who tames a lion with one hand and holds a flower with the other. In the background is a windmill. So, like Don Quixote's windmills that we chase. In its reverse, it means weakness, pettiness, impotence, sickness, lack of faith, abuse of power, succumbing to temptation, and indifference. Well, the only thing I can say is that things are moving ahead with or without you, and that you don't want to be the person to miss that bus. You want to jump on that caboose while it rides by. Um, do not be afraid. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death. Uh, fear will pass through you. And when you it passes through you, you will look at fear and it will be gone, as Frank Herbert says in the novels do. Um, your only enemy is in your head. Your final result? Death. The ultimate transformation. And we're not talking about a physical death, we're talking about transformation and ascension. We're talking about a complete radical shift in your personality. A huge rotting head on a battlefield represents, re resembles the head in Pushkin's story, Russian and Ludmilla. It looks left towards the past. Other symbols of death, skull, sword, fallen warrior, scythe, are scattered about. The raven will feast on the remains. Um, and upright, it means transformation, clearing away of the old to make way for the new, unexpected change, loss or alteration, um, abrupt change of the old self, though not necessarily a physical death, the end of a familiar situation or friendship and financial loss, a new era, so cutting ties, making sacrifices, but starting something new. A illness, possibly death. So there is always that time when you're not feeling well, when you've decided to make a new change. And this is change is much for the better. This is an intelligent woman who is a leader. She knows what she's doing. And she is in your corner. She is behind you 100%. Um, uh, or she is you. She is embodied within the feminine spirit which is in you. And this could stand for a mother, a sister, a cousin, any female relative, um, as well as spirit guides of the ancestors of your feminine line, um, as well as your inner female nurturer.
spirit. That is where you will be transforming, uh, particularly in the intellect, intellectual realm. Um, the pen is mightier than the sword. So, with that, uh, in this time of Virgo, which rules communication and writing in the hands, I leave you. Um, beautiful Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I hope this uh, life-changing reading has helped you realize how marvelous the potential for your future really is, how things are happening all around you right now, and all you need to do is just open your eyes, change your patterns, and get with the program because things are moving ahead and you're going to reap in abundance and um, a new type of life that you've never known before. Blessings, many blessings. Namaste, Sat Nam, and I hope to see you very, very soon. My name is Dadamkar, and you can reach me anytime at dadamkar23 at gmail.com, or you can donate through Patreon. You can also uh, have private readings on Skype uh, and pay through PayPal. Have a good day, and uh, take care. See you soon.